wanted to do a little short little video about arching in the violin family. Uh, this is for the viola that I've been posting pictures of just recently. Uh, when you're doing your arching, on the top you have this area, I drew this little square, and this is just for me to kind of to let me know where to stay away from right at first. I will carve into this area, um, but right at first you want this pretty flat to this area right here in the center. Um, now on the back it's different, it's actually circular in the long arch, so that's from the top to the bottom. It's a perfect curve, so a circle, or part of a circle. Um, this is more done as kind of a compound arch, so you have more of a flatter area right here in the middle, and then it slopes off towards the edges here. Now this plate, I've already marked the edge thickness, so this little this little portion right here will be, um, this is a little more than the final edge thickness, but it's really close. I set this line just a little high, so when I'm carving, if I hit it, I'm still okay. Um, this is where the edge will be, and then this right here is where the, the final thickness, well, not quite the final, but close to the final thickness is right here in the middle. So I have to go from this line here on the side and carve up to this line and get rid of all this extra material up here, all this extra wood here. This is what I'm going to be carving away. Um, so yeah, all of this stuff will have, it, it's not, the arches here, even, even this direction, are not done as a circle. Uh, they come up and it has a little bit flatter area here on the top. It's kind of more like a, I won't say quite a dome, but something more along those lines. Um, it'll be a little flatter here across the top. Now, that being said, I will, uh, I'll put some clamps on this and show you a little bit of the carving. Move the camera here just a little bit. Okay. Fortunately, I don't have a lot of room for filming right here, so this will just have to do. So first off, I'm going to take and just put a few clamps on this right now just to keep it in place. Nothing too tight. I don't want to dent the wood or anything. So I'm going to start carving down this area here. So I'll actually start with a gouge. Uh, this is a Japanese gouge. Maybe one more time so I can let you in a little better. There we go. And so from right here, I have a bunch of Agnes pictures here because this is flat right now. It's hard to see in the video, but this is completely flat all the way across. And this bottom part has to go down to the edge. So I'm going to start off by taking a gouge here. I'm going to change hands. I'm just going to carve away. Some of this material. Whoops, bump the stand. Sorry. Make a jiggle. And so here's something I'll show you that just popped up. This little spot right here. That is a sap pocket in the spruce. So we had no idea it was there. It is there. Hopefully this is in a thick enough part I can just carve that away and we won't have to deal with it. Um, but they do happen. We're gonna find out here real quick. right on through it. Now it's mostly gone. There's still a little line there, but I bet it'll fade out as we carve down into this. Okay, so now I'm going to take a little more off just the edge. Just work my way down. I'm try not to get the back of my head in this. Okay. Now we've got this all carved down to line right about here. And then i got to carve more here, but I'll get that from the other side going this other direction. Um, but now I'm going to take, I'm going to use a different tool. Now that i got this big corner hogged off, I'm going to carve this other section right here. I'm going to use a different tool. It's a kind of a spoke shave.
I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna feel this and see how that, make sure I'm not doing a dish like this. We want a nice kind of gradual arch down. Right now this is really thick here, so this feels pretty good. I got a little bit of a dish right there, but it's not gonna matter. I'm gonna take and go just like that. Okay. So that gives you this really great shaving. So. Okay. So there's our general arch there. Now we're going to come over here. Now that we have that, we get, we're going to take from this edge here and bring that more or less kind of flat in here right now. It eventually will be an arch, but we've got to take more off down here before I can finalize that. So this is just the, what is called roughing. We're just kind of getting that, getting that general shape. So now we've got this that comes over into that. So we're going to take it just a little bit more. Bring that a little further over. Okay. Just like this. So now I have, right now you can't see it on the on the video, but this is kind of a, well, maybe, maybe I can. A little bit. So you can kind of see, get the shadow there. You can see the gap underneath. That's pretty flat there. That's pretty flat there, but that's okay. I've got the point there. We'll smooth that out once we do more of this gradual blending of this whole arch. Um, anyway, um, so now we're going to take and I'll reset this clamp back over down here and we'll start in this middle section. Set that there. Now we've got this secured. Bring this over just a little bit. Now this part is actually easiest just to do with the gouge and we're just going to make a straight line from that edge up to that line. Um, it's got just a little bit of a... Just a little bit. Just like that. Then we're going to come do this from behind the camera. Take off a little bit there. There we go. This is not the bench I normally do this on. I usually have a little bit bigger bench, um, but it's downstairs right now. And for this short little video, I didn't want to bring it up. So this bench is wobbling quite a bit more than it usually does. Okay, and so same thing. Let me use the side of this gouge. You can see fairly flat from there to there. Nothing crazy. I'm going to come in from this side. So I'm coming in from different directions because of the grain of the wood. This way I'm cutting, as you carve around this way, you're cutting off the grain that's in the, in the vertical direction. And when you're cutting this way, you're cutting off the grain. Um, if I try to carve in this way, on this side, it'll actually just dig. Whereas if I go the other way, it'll, it just does a really nice smooth cut. You'll see those little curls coming up. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, 
and you can see where that grain changes because all of a sudden it just stopped. Now we're going to come in from this side. So that brings me this all down to this edge thickness that I have marked. And then of course, since this is so much narrower here, this is a lot steeper angle. So here, we're looking about, looking at that degree here, we're changing, you can see the difference in the angle. If I extend that, there's that. There's that. So, I'm doing a much steeper angle up. And the reason I'm going cross grain right here, so I'm going actually just perpendicular to the grain, is to keep from having big tear outs either direction. Okay. Anyway, so from here, I will take a plane and smooth a bunch of this up, and then I'll actually take and do the final edge thickness here, and then I'll have to redo all of this again. I'll show in a little video of that here in a little bit. Um, but just thought you'd like to see some of this. I will continue this on the rest of the, way around, the, rest of the way around this, and then I will uh, catch you next time. Everybody stay safe, stay healthy. See you next time.